Welcome to the channel. My name is Rob and we have our series from the BBC archive where we look back at old footage where we may think it was a little bit odd back then. We're going back to 1983 where in the UK it became compulsory to wear your seatbelt when driving or in a vehicle and it caused a little bit of a stir. Before the new law came into force, only about four out of every ten motorists regularly used a seatbelt. But during this morning's rush hour in London, the vast majority of drivers and front seat passengers were securely fastened. I, first of all, no wonder why garages in houses are so small, because the cars back then were so much smaller than they are now. If you even think about it, even like Nissan Qashqai's, which are not a massive car, but they're still a hell of a lot bigger than this. Um, it's crazy, crazy, and they're all very boxy, but all of them are wearing their seatbelts because fines, no one wants to get them, do they? It seems the fear of prosecution was a greater incentive to belt up than all those previous seatbelt campaigns with their appeals to reason. And the government will now be hoping for a big reduction in the number of people killed or seriously injured in traffic accidents. Good morning, I see you're wearing your seatbelt today. That's correct, yes. Is this simply because of the law? Indeed, I've never worn it before. Um, I prefer to be free when I'm driving, but um, I'm aware that the law are going to enforce things today, so that's why I'm wearing it. Sorry. But not everyone remembered the need to clunk click this morning. Hello, can I ask you why you're not wearing a seatbelt? Right. <laughs> you realise you're breaking the law? Yeah, I do realise now, yeah. Thanks for telling me. I better put it on, yeah, I think you had. <laughs> So what are the chances of being fined if you don't wear a seatbelt? Well, at the moment, it depends very much on where you live. Some police forces have said that they intend to adopt a lenient attitude for the first few weeks at least. People who break the law are likely to escape with just a warning. But in other areas, the police are saying that they intend to prosecute people as from today. And if you don't wear a seatbelt, that could mean a fine of up to £50. <laughs> Well, the Merseyside Chief Constable, Kenneth Oxford, has... Uh, it's interesting. I'm going to tell you a quick story. Now, when I was a child, so quite a while ago, when Blockbuster still existed, my mum drove us into town to go to Blockbuster to get a video for, us, for me to have, whatever, that weekend. We drove in, and I didn't have my seatbelt on in the back seat. We got pulled over... And we got a bollocking from the police. Oh, my God. I was absolutely crapping myself. I was, honestly, it was horrendous. They let us off, luckily, and we still got to have a blockbuster video and a film night. But it is scary. And But it's funny because there's so many things. This is just a one example where, actually, people won't do it unless you force them to. Now, this wearing a seatbelt is clearly the safe thing to do it is still safer than not wearing one right and you can tell people these things it, it's the same with smoking you can tell people these things are probably possibly going to kill you will they listen no so until these things become actually compulsory yeah you've almost got to tell people what to do rather than asking them sometimes has already said that in his area, drivers, to begin with, uh, not wearing seatbelts, will be warned and not prosecuted. So John Thorne has been examining how the softly, softly approach there has been working. At the dawn of this new legislation, rush hour motorists on Merseyside were greeted by foul, snow-filled winds. There was no sign of extra police vigilance on the roads leading to the Mersey Tunnel, and many drivers had forgotten to lock on their seatbelts. In fact, one driver was deliberately ignoring the new legislation. Well, figures have proved in the continent that uh, even though the number of people wearing seatbelts went up, there's no decrease in the amount of accidents. So even though you're... It's not about accidents, you idiot. It's about saving lives. What a, st what a stupid comment about on the uh, in Europe and whatnot, they've done it compulsory and it's not actually caused less accidents. Yep. It's not about causing less accidents. It's about you not dying when you have an accident. Oh, this is people. This is people in general. It doesn't even matter if it's this topic, but people are like this. They will use stats and put it in their way to suit their needs. Ah, oh. You're liable to £50 fine. Yeah. You're not going to wear them. No. The Merseyside police the have been coy about their attitude, 
The chief constable, Mr Kenneth Oxford, declined an interview. So did his traffic department commander. But in fact, motorists here have a good reputation for belting up. A local survey suggested that nearly half Merseyside drivers did it automatically even before the new law. Well done, Scousers. The police force here on Merseyside are not alone in deciding initially to advise motorists about the new seatbelt legislation rather than prosecuting them immediately. But their chief constable's stance has been attacked by the British Safety Council, who describe it as entirely irresponsible, amounting to a licence for suicide. Is fascinating, isn't it? Looking back, looking back and seeing what is now just the automatic thing. You automatically put the seatbelt on before you before you go, um, sometimes before you even turn the engine on. But back then, like I said, they were being asked, put your belt on, put your belt on. It, it, it's, it's safer for you. And people still weren't. And then you have to enforce things. Um, common sense isn't really common is it if if you want to look at it like that you know just because something is seems obvious now clearly sometimes people didn't see it as pretty obvious back then um and that's what i love about these bbc archive footage it's a, almost sometimes a different world that almost doesn't feel recognizable to what we have today because well sometimes the picture quality um, the vehicles there completely different, but for what we now do automatically, it is incredible to even think that people resisted. And you just think, why? It literally takes two seconds. Fascinating. I hope you enjoy these BBC archive footages um, and my reactions to them. They will keep on coming, even just for my own amusement, to be honest. But thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. That is the free thing you can do to support the channel. And I will catch you next time.